Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's theCUBE, covering EMC World 2015. Brought to you by EMC, Brocade, and VCE. Welcome back everybody, Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We are live in Las Vegas on day three of EMC World 2015. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise, we have great guests, and we really like to have CUBE alumni on. Cheryl Chamberlain, Cap Gemini, welcome back. Yes, what is this, my fifth time? I, I, is that what it is? Are we still counting? We just <laughs> talked about having whole layers of uh, CUBE alumni this, so we'll have to uh, see where you're at, platinum, gold, you, you got to oh, be at, at, least, the top. at least at least gold, if not platinum. So welcome, uh, I think it was a year ago today when we sat down, you had just started your new job, so yeah. how's it been going? Oh, it's been going great. It was really interesting. A year ago, I sat here and I said, goodbye to EMC, hello to Capgemini. This year I came and I said, thank you for the Innovation Award. You got an Innovation Award? I got the Capgemini Global Innovation Award. So you can imagine how busy I was this year. <laughs> well, I remember <laughs> last year you told me you had a really big uh, quota number, so I know you've been busy, so you've been traveling all over the world, so what was the award? Tell me about the award. Yeah, so what Capgemini has been doing over the last couple of years is working with Pivotal and EMC on something called Business Data Lakes. Okay. I think you saw the launch on that. Yes. So it's really a co-innovation, and that's what we do best together. Right. And based on that co-innovation, this year it was recognized that we've got some customers, we're focused on some industry specifics, and that we should get that award. The best part was going on stage to accept it. What was it? I, I didn't see the award. Was uh, it doesn't uh, matter like about a the award. Little Academy Award. It's a. Uh, it's a little a bit. Little Oscar. A little, yeah, but you first walk up and there's Joe. Hey, Cheryl. Well, that's good. And then there's you know a little a couple. There's Jeremy. Hi, Cheryl. We'll give you a hug. Um, keep walking down the line with each person. Billy, the entire team. Right. Howard Elias. Oh, you work in Paris now. Two kisses. So here I am walking <laughs> along they let this stage. You ride stage. A yeah. too? <laughs> <laughs> but really, it was almost like a homecoming. Right. Well, Meeting great. everybody again and recognizing. Well, congratulations. Yeah, thank so you. So you do, you're doing good work. You do good professional work, but you also do a lot of stuff outside of your direct work. And you know, I, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, you kind of helped us kick off our Women in Tech initiative. I think a couple of VM worlds ago. So it was not in Vegas. It was in Moscone, if I recall. So. Uh, and I think you were involved, we had the Women of the World, actually Women of World earlier today. How did that go? Uh, Women of World was fantastic. I can imagine seven years ago when we started that, it was a small little breakfast, a gathering, and then we started to take it to the next level. This year, it was all the way at the top. The speakers were talking about topics that are about men and women and how we think differently. Right. Do we? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And why we think differently and how we can think better together. So it was very, it was really interesting. Yeah, we had Bev on uh, yesterday, and, and really not only women, but just diversity in general and the stories of because we do think differently, yeah. we have a different frame of reference because we're all individuals and we come from a different history and different experiences that you know you see things different and, 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 and enabling that broader view, you're going to get to different solutions faster than if you just limited yourself to really half the available options. You, you know, you say that, but what I found very interesting today was the idea of the way women's memories work, that we have, have really strong emotional memory, and through that emotional memory, we can actually avoid fear when something is different or changing around us. We're calm through it. Right. Whereas you might get really excited when things are changing. Well, we raise our <laughs> hand before we know the answer, right? That's the classic tale. And I have, I have sons and daughters, and and it's a you know an often discussed topic in the middle school age, where you know when the teacher asks the question, the boys are more likely to raise their hand literally before they know because they want to please the teacher and they're excited for the opportunity. Where the girls will take their time and really think a minute before they raise their hand think about the answer, and because of that, that's where you get a lot of issues sometimes where the girls don't get that opportunity to say, and that's where uh, a lot of same-sex middle schools and same-sex high schools give that opportunity for kind of an equal playing field where everybody's kind of taking their time and thinking through the answer, and you're not competing against the, uh, the horse shack. Remember horse shack yeah. back in the day? Yeah, but what, <laughs> what I see that women do also is through relationships, they create a web, a culture of innovation, a way for us to think differently together, and right. that web is actually very sticky. So through those um, different ways of thinking, we're bringing the men in that are moving very quickly, 
and creating a community so that we can execute together. Right. But that's only one of the things I'm involved in externally. Yeah, you got other stuff. So Holt, what is Holt? Holt is a fabulous organization. Holt is actually a business school in five locations around the world. Okay. It's in Singapore, all right. um, in London, Boston, um, all, all around the world they have these campuses. And what they decided was about six years ago, and it was a student's idea, a young student, a 23-year-old student that said, what about putting a challenge out to all students around the world around solving a social entrepreneurship problem? And the idea was taken, it was put out there, and then ultimately President Clinton said, I'm going to put out that challenge to all students around the world. So over the last three years I've been involved, the challenge was three years ago about how can we solve food sustainability in the urban slums for 10 million people in five years from now. Okay. And the winner was that year, crickets. 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 So grinding up crickets and creating flour out of it, and if you can deliver it, you don't <laughs> want a cricket candy I don't know, bar. I never had one. Maybe I should, uh, <laughs> shouldn't make a face. <laughs> but the idea is that they're students that are not from the whole universities. They're all students around the world. They compete on their campus right. to solve this problem. Right. And then they present those ideas in front of judges at each of the campuses. There's 20 judges at the five locations okay. that listen, and then they decide who's the winning idea. Right. So what are, so are they what are they doing with the crickets? They did they execute the idea or was this kind of a <laughs> Oh no, it's concept? a candy bar now. There's a candy bar that's being delivered around the world with cricket. Fla I'll get you one. Yeah. You'll like it. That's funny because uh, there's actually a TED talk given by a guy who talks about um, urban hunger but also urban beautification and his answer to the to the uh, to the problem was small gardens and really mm -hmm helping people in urban environments right. to give them some of the tools and some of the seeds and some of the knowledge mm -hmm. to start growing their own um, vegetable farms. Yeah. And not necessarily just for the vegetables, but also as a community activity, as a beautification project, you're adding green into some of these areas right. that don't necessarily have a lot of green. It's a really uh, fascinating TED Talk. You have to uh, check that one I out. I will, definitely. But it, uh, getting back to the students, I mean, this idea that these young students are right. thinking through a social problem like like this, right. and then they'll go through an incubation period once they win at that campus, and they present their winning idea to President Clinton and people from the United Nations, and the winning team gets a million dollars to take their idea forward. So it's very exciting. You said it's been going on for three years? It's, well, it's really more like six years. Six I've years. been involved for three years, okay. and now what are they doing? They're asking me to build their alumni program, their Holt Judge alumni program. So now I get to meet with all of these great judges that have been listening to these students over the last five years and create a program where we can think together how we can be more innovative and change the world from a social entrepreneurship perspective. Very you're exciting. Busy, you're a busy lady. Yeah, why not? So when we talk to you a year from now, yes. what, you, what new and exciting things are you going to be doing uh, between now and summer 2016 that That's you can share I should say good good question well, I'll always be doing <laughs> I'll always be doing work around women's leadership I'm going to Paris to build our first major women's leadership program at our, our headquarters and I've invited Helen Barnico who used to be at EMC and okay. is now at Telesonaria and she's the chief commercial officer chief revenue officer right to be our speaker and what we're doing there is bringing in women executives and their mentees so paying it forward to talk about how they get a board seat in the future. How do right, they become right, more influential? Right. But you'll see me much more involved with Holt. I might be on a television show. Um, so just when are you going to a go PBS out and sell? television I'm your show. Boss, I'm like, when are you going out there to sell? You're doing great. I'm going to get my number. You're doing great, great ambassador work. Well, it's good. We're actually going to go to the uh, the Anita Borg Women of Vision uh, Awards banquet in a couple of Thursdays from now, so we're excited about that. We're going to make our second trip to Grace Hopper, okay. which we did our first time last year, which really turned out to be a, a tremendous event. We're going to hopefully bring the whole cube there this time. Um, so we're trying to do our part. We've, we've, we've done a couple of little things here and there to, uh, to really help get the word. And I think as Bev said earlier, you know, it's at some level she would say, you know, I don't really want to highlight the fact that I'm a woman in tech. I've always been a woman in tech. Yeah. And, but. But, but really, she said, you know, but, but we have a responsibility to help others. You know, we have a responsibility to be good role models, to provide leadership, to provide role models, mm -hmm. and to help kind of show the path for some of these younger, uh, younger women that, that maybe need a little of assist, or just to show them 
you know, what can be done. But I, they don't only show the path to women. I think we show the path to men and women so that they work together in a collaborative way. Yeah. I think most of my mentees would say that they like the idea that it's not just women that I work with, that it's men also. And therefore, we get both perspectives. Right. Something to think about. Well, that's a very good, I was yeah. going to say, I give you the last word, but that's a pretty good <laughs> last word. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Any you. Any other words? No, that was a good close. Well, Cheryl, yeah. thanks for stopping by, Thank as you. always. Uh, look for Cheryl in a plane. It sounds like you're flying all over the place. <laughs> and on TV. And on TV yeah. with her award. So awesome. So again, thanks for stopping by, Cheryl. Thank you. See you at VMworld. Excellent. Okay. So Cheryl bye Chamberlain bye. from Capgemini. I'm Jeff Rick. You're watching The Cube. We're at EMC World 2015 in lovely Las Vegas. We'll be back with our next segment after this short break. Thanks for watching.